the ID TechX show right here and uh, with a Stretch Sense. And hello, who Hi. are you? Hi, I'm Shen. I'm the head of marketing at Stretch Sense. And this is Heath. Hello. Hi, I'm Heath, head of global sales at Stretch Sense. So, uh, what do you show? With, what do you do at Stretch Sense? Uh, well, Stretch Sense, we're a company that's really good with anything to do with body motion. So, on my hand here, I have five stretch sensors embedded on the fingers. And so, as you can see, as I move my hand around, you get real-time information about how my hand is moving. So, uh, what's inside here? There's a, how does it work? Uh, so inside this glove, there are five fabric stretch sensors running along the fingers. The same as these ones here. Yeah. Right there. They're really soft and pliable and stretchable. This is a sensor. Yeah, it's a sensor. It's a soft capacitor. Fabric on the outside, conductive polymer on the inside. So this is your, uh, your, your main product? Correct. So how do you do this? How does it work? How does it work? These are soft capacitors. So the capacitance on here is determined by the area and thickness. So however you deform it, if the thickness changes, if you compress it, if the area changes because you stretch it, the capacitance changes, goes up. So and we would know automatically with the algorithm or something? Yeah. yeah. So, so in there, we've got algorithms in the circuit, some Bluetooth low energy connection, and so it's presented on the tablet. Yeah, Heath, if you stretch this, yeah. you can see how it works. It acts like an elastic band connected to Bluetooth. Mm, cool. And it holds a position, it holds a reading really stable, because capacitance is so reliant on area and thickness and the dielectric constants, it doesn't get affected so much by temperature as there's a resistive sensors do. Awesome. And what can, you can put it in the legs also? How does that work? Yeah. What is that for? So, so the great thing about our fabric stretch sensors is because it's made of fabric, you can sew it into garments. And because it's fabric, it also strain locks at its maximum stretch, meaning you can't break it. Or it's more resilient to breaking than silicone. So you can put in uh, all kinds of clothing. Yeah, all kinds of clothing, gloves, sleeves, compression garments. And what do we use that for? Sportswear, smart garments, wellness devices to measure breathing, rolling, sleeping, things like that. Virtual reality to project your body into a virtual world in, in high bandwidth, high fidelity way. So you can see your hands or legs or whatever in, in the VR space. You can see how big the person is wearing the t-shirt, right? <laughs> Maybe. Maybe. Yeah. And how about, uh, what's what's the, here, it's, it says fabric, stretch, sensors. Perhaps put it in a car seat and tell the difference between a person sitting there and my briefcase sitting there. Totally. My company makes an, an expensive and complicated sensor to do that. And I'm annoyed every time I'm in a car, including the one I own now, that doesn't have my company's product because I put my briefcase on, on the seat and it thinks someone's sitting there. But with something like this, you could sense that. What's your company? Much Delphi. Uh, so it looks cool what they're doing? It does. Very. Thanks. Yeah. Yeah. All right. And what are you showing here on the floor? So this is our energy harvesting product. It's you do energy harvesting energy like that? Energy harvesting. It's our most recent product. So it's still very in its early days. Um, so what this system allows you to do is produce power yeah. from human body motion. So I'll show you a quick demonstration of this now. What I'm going to do is put the battery in. And this is just to wake the system up, tell it to come on. So now you can see the light come on. I'm going to take the battery away. And you can see the light slowly dying, dying out. But what happens is if I start pumping the generator, you see the light coming back on. And if I take my foot away, the light dies out. So uh, how is that related to the other technology you have in the company? Right. So as I said, this energy harvesting system is still in its early days. And we're currently working on making a miniaturized version of this that's wearable, so you can put it into shoes. We're also producing a stretchable uh, mode generator that you can put into clothing. Eventually, where we want to get to is combine our sensing and generation technology together so we can produce self-powered sensors for wearables. And the whole idea behind it is that when you go home, you've got your phone, you've got your computer to charge, and it doesn't make sense to charge you know, your smart shirt and your smart shoes with the rest of the gadgets that you have to charge. So with energy harvesting and self-power sensors, you don't need to worry about replacing or recharging batteries because it's all just power through your own body motion. So you're gonna make uh, smart shoes that just work by walking. Exactly. Well, that's what our clients do. And what we do is provide the sensors and the generators for them to do that. So where are you based? New Zealand. New Zealand. All right. So uh, what do you think about the ID Tech X show? It's brilliant. Lots of cool technologies here. Um, but, you know, I think some of the technology here is really, you know, fast forward, forward moving. So I'm looking forward to seeing what's yeah, here next year. And potential customers uh, signing up, right? 
to, yeah. to, to buy your sensors. Yeah, lots of interesting people here. The cool thing about working in a sensor company is you get to meet you know, customers of sports, VR, entertainment, consumer wellness, and they all have these crazy new ideas for using sensors and generators. So, And uh, what is that video? This video is, uh, of, shows a pianist. Yeah. He's wearing the same gloves that I have. Yeah. And what he's currently doing is playing the virtual keyboard. It uses our sensors along with some other other technologies. And what he's showing in our real sense. And what he's showing is playing the virtual keyboard just with motion capture gloves. So that's an example of how with human body motion it lets you do other cool things like music, gaming, just to control.